you know, certainly you're always concerned for your constituents. And what we saw there was certainly all of the you know, some horrible imagery. Uh, the fact is it was still a little bit more sterile than, than one might think, as horrible as it was. I've seen what's underneath those body bags. And so while those families should rightly be concerned about you know, journalists that put these things out, at the end of the day, you know, I think that this country does need to see, have some realistic understanding of what's happening in our country with regard to these mass shootings. And what I saw that day in, in, those, in the videos that I've seen is a million times worse than that. And so I think that people need to have a real understanding here. It's a, if you want to be upset at a journalist, that's one thing, or at a, at, a, at a newspaper column, that's one thing. But you really should have a real understanding of what happened and the failure of police and the failure of government was such that left those children to die because they were afraid of an AR-15. Over and over on the videos, you hear cops say, that kid's got an AR-15. We shouldn't go in there. We've got to be careful. He's got an AR-15. They were afraid because of that gun. The public in this country needs to understand that this is a unique problem, a unique problem solely to this country, and we must do something. That young man went into those rooms and sprayed those rooms without even stopping to, once to point, to aim. Killed all of the kids in one room, and in the other room, two stacks of kids. Now the public has seen some images of that. Tell you it's a million times worse. Um, I know that you know the families are divided. Some are happy that this not happy, but some feel like this is something that people need to see, and others feel like you know that this is something that people don't see. Do you feel like that this could kind of drive the message and could kind of open the eyes of people and help their well, I feel for the families. I talk to them just about every week still, to many of them. Um, and I understand the concern of those that didn't want these images seen. But this country must do something about this. There are kids underneath those body bags, inside those body bags. And the horrifying images that I have seen of those kids, I can't take out of my mind. And probably the public shouldn't see that. You won't sleep. You'll see those images when you wake up. You'll see those images when you go to sleep. But well, we've done this to ourselves in America. We've allowed Republicans to have loose gun laws like we have in Texas. Now allow some kid to buy a gun at 18 years old, an AR-15, 900 rounds the next day, pick up a third store, uh, internet bought AR-15 at the same store on day three. That's a red flag. That's something that somebody should, saw something and they should have said something. We are broken in this state on guns and we must absolutely do something about it. What happened in Uvalde, I'll never take away from my mind. And I'll never stop thinking about it. Not a day goes by that I don't think about what happened to those children. 